Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Today we have expert pinster Satessa Grimes in with us. One of my favorite things to do on Pinterest, surf for new ideas, if that's crafts, food, recipes, you can find everything on Pinterest, right? Correct. Well, every week we're going to be doing hail or fail, checking out some of the most popular Pinterest ideas, <laughs> letting you know if it's worth a try. So again, we'll be doing this every week. So send us any of your ideas on Facebook if you want us to hail or fail a Pinterest idea you have your eye on. But today, what are we going to be talking about craft-wise? So today I have a couple of projects that I've started, and this first one is something that you can use with wine glasses Ooh. or wine bottles. So okay. we all have empty wine yeah. bottles around. Yeah, you know, if you don't, I'm sure you have a friend who also <laughs> right. has an empty okay. wine bottle. But it's very simple to use as a vase. Um, get some twine, um, glue it, wrap it around it, and voila, you have a vase. There's so many different things that you can do with it. Um, from twine, you can paint it, add letters um, to make it fit your lifestyle and what your, your room looks like. I love that. So would you give that a hail or a fail? I would give that a hail. <laughs> okay. So what about this this other vase? Did you see this on Pinterest as well, this idea? So I saw this one on Pinterest. This is a copper vase mm -hmm. using pennies. So of course in the picture it looked beautiful. Now I will say going into it, it was um, complicated in okay. that with the hot glue with the copper and the vase will dry really quickly. Um, so it's a very meticulous, tedious process to do that one. So going into it, I would say hail, but toward the end, I would say fail. Because you would say fail. The pennies will pop off. Um, I kind of bubble wrap them coming here um, so that they wouldn't fall off. But it depends on how you, how you look at it. I thought it was a very good twist to the vase that I had for a very long time. Yeah, it's a nice twist, but so we'll fail this, but hail that. It yes. seems a little easier yes. and also aesthetically pleasing. Yes. <laughs> Well, Sadasa, tell us about um, your Pinterest page. How many pins do you have? How do you interact? Maybe people who've never used Pinterest. So for my page, I have about 3,000 pins. Wow. Um, uh, probably about 30 different boards. And I have different ideas from birthday parties to wedding planning to healthy eating. It's a new year, so people might be looking for healthy ideas and exercises. So there's several different boards that I have that I use on there. So for people at home that perhaps have not used Pinterest, what are your tips for them on first time users? How do they search for something they may be interested in? So Pinterest is very user friendly. Okay. So if there's something you're looking for from a recipe, that's probably something I use it for the most um, is recipes. Um, it's very simple just to plug in what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a casserole, you can plug in your search key casserole and it'll pull up tons and thousands of pins that you're looking for that relates to that. So talk to us a little bit about your page. Do you interact with other pages or are you primarily posting your own content? I do not primarily post my own content, so I say okay. from other websites. Um, you can follow different websites, so if you like fashion, you can follow um, different organizations, you know, Macy's. There's different websites also have a Pinterest pin on their page, mm -hmm. so a lot of people have Twitter and Facebook, and now the Pinterest kind of tab is becoming a new fad for a lot of the websites, and it links them, it, it links buyers to them to be able to purchase new things, so I use that a lot. Yeah, I love that with clothing. I see a lot of stores will have Pinterest pages where they're pinning outfits together, mm -hmm. maybe a skirt and a top or a dress, and you can search all those different ideas on yes. Pinterest. It's a great resource. Yes, I, I use that for our 10-year vow renewal in October, so oh, the, wow. the whole blue-white combination, I loved it, and I used that and went to different sites. You can find where you can purchase, you know, a skirt that you find, and I did that. So well, I'm definitely well. loving your blue. So, Tessa, <laughs> let people know how they can find your page on Pinterest. So, if you go to Pinterest, um, my username is Mrs. PG Jr. Um, my husband, Philip Grimes Jr., but uh, Mrs. PG Jr. So if you go to um, Pinterest, you can find my website on there. You can follow me and also has my email address linked there. So you can find me that way too. Any questions that people might have. Well, thanks so much for coming in today. And, you know, each week we're going to be having hail or fail new Pinterest ideas. So send us anything that you want to give a try. You can find recipes, creative crafts, everything on Pinterest. Awesome. We'll be right back.